Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survival Sports. Guys and gals, I've got some new audio recording software, so we're just going to have to see how this does. My first video with this new software, and uh, I'm just going to have to see how everything works. So, let's talk about three good hot weather crops, or three crops that should produce through the summer. Let's start out with some okra. That's right, guys and gals, I love me some okra. I'm <laughs> This okra here is planted kind of thick, real close together. Should not be planted that close. What happened was, these seeds have been in the freezer for like eight years. Took them out, planted them. I planted them kind of thick because I expected there to be a little failure rate. And I tell you what, guys, guys, there was no failure rate. I mean, it's just, I was amazed at these seeds. Well, we've done it before. We planted a couple, last year we planted some decade old seeds, some squash seeds and some other stuff, and it did great. All right, okra, imported from Africa, or well, it's indigenous to Africa, imported sometime during the slave trade, say 17, 1800, somewhere in there. I uh, had no real documentation exactly when it was brought in the United States, but it, it's speculated that it was brought over from Africa sometime. Loves hot weather, absolutely loves hot weather. The hotter it gets, the more water you get this stuff, the more it's going to produce. So I need to get here and pull some of these weeds out. But this stuff's been in the ground for, oh, about a month or so. Look at these leaves, guys. You want to use a well-balanced fertilizer such as Triple 13. Stay away from a high nitrogen fertilizer such as 16, 612, or 2100. Just use a balanced fertilizer. Uh, triple 13, like I said. Good, well-balanced fertilizer. All right, so next one. Let's come on over here. Peppers. Pepper, hot peppers, like jalapeno peppers, guys. It's like jalapeno peppers. They will produce all year long, and if the frost doesn't kill them, then they will produce all the way into next year. Look at them jalapenos, guys. Now I've got some bug stings on them. Oh, man. See those white splotches? I swear, like stink bugs got on there and stuck their needle in there. Stung that pepper. I need to make up some tea or something, tobacco tea or something. We're just gonna throw it. I've been getting tomatoes. I've been, not tomatoes. I've been getting peppers off of these almost every day, almost every other day. The heat does not seem to really affect the peppers. What affects the peppers, from my experience, is water. Have to keep them watered. Have to, have to, have to keep them watered. These are Tabasco peppers. First time I've ever grown Tabasco. Got some cowhorn peppers. Oh, man, they need some water. Bad. Bad, bad. Look at that. Let those turn red. May save the seeds. I may just let them turn red, dry up, and I'll grind them into some powder. Uh, chili powder. Those Tabasco peppers, I'm not sure when to pick these. I need to read up on it. But some jalapeno peppers. Tell you what, guys, those jalapeno peppers, you keep them plenty of water, and they will produce right on through. Right on through the summer. Frost don't kill them. They'll produce right on through the winter. Got some little peppers coming inside of there. Look there. I'm saying I've been getting peppers off of these almost every day. Every day. This one here, a little old fertilizer, no big deal. Okay, so we've got okra. Loves the hot weather. Peppers. Need water. The next is zucchini. And some of y'all are going to correct me and say, Kevin, well, zucchini is a member of the squash family, and it typically, typically, bleh, it, it is. So, difference between yellow summer squash and zucchini. I planted yellow summer squash right next to zucchini. Talking right next to it. Two rows of it, okay? Two rows. 100 feet long, not here, over in another field. They got the exact same amount of fertilizer, same amount of amount of, of rainfall, no artificial water whatsoever. Zucchini, whenever the squash died off during the middle of the summer, lack of rain, I'll let, I'll let them die. And whenever that uh, squash died off from lack of rain, that zucchini was still producing, guys. Still producing. And I should have some little zucchini sprouts coming up. Got one right there. As long as I keep this watered, throw a little triple 13 or something down on it, it should keep producing way on into the summer. Way on into the summer. All right, guys and gals, there, there we have it. Zucchini, from my experience, is going to outproduce summer squash, summer yellow squash, either crook neck or straight neck. Get yourself some good okra going on, like some LA velvet, maybe some cow horn okra. I like the I like the smooth instead of I like the spineless over the spined okra, and then peppers, those hot peppers, jalapeno peppers. I mean they will produce 
oh, several years, right, several years ago, several, several years ago, I had jalapeno peppers in some tubs, big tubs I was growing behind the house. Had a very mild winter. Frost did not kill them. They lifted the winter, then kept on producing the next summer. So from one plant, I got a year and a half worth of peppers off of them. Just wonderful. So guys, there you go. Three good hot weather crops, hot weather plants that are produced in the summer. Yeah, there we go, guys. I like those peppers. Use them in recipes, all kinds of stuff. See how that's all coming up? And whenever you buy these to make the pepper plants, it'll take about 60 days for them to get going good. These are 60 days. These have been in the ground 60 days. So they're just now starting to produce. These were planted a month behind schedule. Instead of planting them in March, as hey, April, hides of March, they were planted March, April. They were planted in late April. So that's May, June. So they've been in the ground for 60 days and they're just now starting to produce. And they're going to produce all summer. Tabasco, like I said, first time to ever grow Tabasco. I don't know. Okra is doing good. And I need to keep that squash, that zucchini, with some water and it'll keep going. All right, guys and gals, that is it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. When this okra starts coming in, we're going to do a video about it. Oh, I love that okra. That's some good stuff. Boiled okra, fried okra, just whatever. It's great all-around crop. Wonderful, wonderful. I need to get here and pull some weeds. So. All right, guys and gals, that's it for now. I will talk to y'all later.